Well, the new year is upon us. And of course, that means that it is traditionally the time to do a review of the previous year. And we'll take a second and do that. But first, I'd like to give us a premise. I talk so much about our little friend Amy the Amygdala here, how we love her, how sometimes she loves us a little too hard, and all of the things that are so important about that part of our brain's impact on our life and how it's critical that we take care of her. And so as we reflect on this past year, let's take a moment and visit with our little friend Amy the Amygdala. I'd like to invite you to notice three different things that your amygdala did for you this year in an endeavor to keep you safe. Now here's the nuance with that, and you might have already clicked into this if you're a follower of this channel. Amy does a lot of wackadoodle things that don't necessarily work in our favor, but she's always trying to keep us safe. So these might be those moments throughout the year where you reflect on them and you go, oh man, that was such a weird, crazy moment. Why did I do that thing? Why did I behave that way? And then hopefully by now you go, hi, Amy, I see you over there. I know what's happening now. High five, thanks for keeping me safe. Those are the moments that I want you to look back on right now. Just find three. And if you can, take a moment and jot them down or just remember them. I've got some that definitely jump out at me. Yeah, it was an interesting and unique year for sure. Now, once you've found those three, I'd like to invite you either now or later to revisit them and identify your success within those moments. Because here's the cool thing. Those moments happened. That ED on the end of that word happened. They're gone. They're over. You're on the other side. And you're still sitting here on this journey with yourself, looking inward, connecting and learning about who you are. What an incredible way to spend a year going on a journey with yourself to get to know yourself better and to lean in to those complicated, messy moments with curiosity. And maybe this is a moment that you identified right now that you haven't leaned into yet. And you're doing that right now and saying, hi, Amy, what happened? How can I learn a little bit about myself right here, right now? Cool, huh? We are taking the flames and turning them into magic when we go inward with curiosity and inspiration rather than all of those hard things we say to ourselves or that Amy says to us, all those less than kind statements or labels that we say. Yeah, it's pretty cool, our ability to give ourselves some good old-fashioned love. Now, you can, of course, do that for many different times that happened this past year. Find the opportunities and the hard moments and really own that there was a success in every single one of them, because there was. Sometimes we just have to find them. We're looking for the diamond in the coal, and it's always there, because that's what pressure creates, diamonds. Let's look now towards the new year. Take a moment and see what's waiting for you on the other side of 2021. And we're not going to be setting goals as is the traditional experience in the new year. What I'd like to invite you to do instead is identify three opportunities. Now the neat thing about an opportunity is an opportunity, maybe something new on the horizon that you've been working towards for a long time. For example, I have a book coming out. That is an opportunity that I've been working towards for a very long time, and I'm very excited to share it with all of you. That's an opportunity. But an opportunity can also be something that is going to be hard, something that you know is going to be difficult. And as soon as we put that opportunity framework around it, guess what? Our brain immediately reframes our experience of that difficult thing. And we could be reframing something that's two months, four months, six months out. How phenomenal is that? As soon as we start the reframe process though, everything else our brain does, including our little friend Amy, in relationship to that opportunity that may have been hard or challenging or scary previously, but is now an opportunity, changes. 
even the electrochemical experience changes about it. So find three opportunities, three things that are new, difficult or challenging, and write those down. How are you going to be in relationship with those things so that they make you wiser, stronger, and more empowered than ever before? And sometimes the opportunity is simply saying, I'm going to weather that storm and not be reactive and listen to my brain and my body when it starts to feel scary or nervous or worried. That's a huge opportunity. So take a moment, review this past year, celebrate all of the wins, especially the wins in those hard moments. How have you kicked ass this year? Because you have. And look forward to the next year and find those moments that your brain, little friend Amy, has a pull to maybe say that could be scary, big, or hard. Having a book come out, definitely scary, big, and hard also. But as soon as I shift my framework around, I go, wow, that's exciting. That's an opportunity. Amy goes, oh my God, I could be judged. Uh, what if nobody likes it? And I go, no, it's going to be exciting. That's one opportunity. Go find yours. It has been a joy and an honor being a part of your journey this year. And I so look forward to seeing you in the next one. On Sunday, of course, we will have a guided exercise to help your mind open up and become expansive around all of the opportunities and to also see if there's some healing left to be done this previous year. I'll see you soon. Bye.